With student loan repayments officially resuming this month, many borrowers say they're facing customer service issues with their loan servicers. It's led to criticism from 19 state attorneys general. In a letter sent Friday to the Department of Education, they argue people facing complications should not have to repay their debt until the issues are resolved. So Persis Yu is uh, with us now to discuss all things student loans. She's the deputy executive director and managing counsel for the Student Borrower Protection Center. So, like, what's going on? I, you know, I can understand how right now the customer service platforms or people might be getting, like, a rush of in inquiries right now or inquiries right now. But why can't they handle it? Yeah. Um, good morning. Yes, these are very good, very good questions to be asking. Um, of course, as background, as you mentioned, starting this week for the first time in three and a half years, tens of millions of student loan borrowers are going to have to start making payments on their federal student loans. The average payment is expected to be around $200 a month. Um, this is understandably causing a lot of borrowers a lot of financial distress. Um, and so these borrowers are reaching out to their servicers and what we're hearing is that servicers are understaffed, they're overwhelmed. Borrowers are experiencing several hour long call wait times. Um, in fact, one report says that about 50% of borrowers abandon their phone calls before ever getting to speak with a customer service representative. Um, right now, it's very confusing for folks to know what to do, what their options are. And so reaching the customer service representative, reaching their servicer, getting good information is critical. And unfortunately, too many borrowers aren't getting it. So what other problems are people facing as they restart student loan payments? Right. So in addition to the call wait times, the, um, the reason why folks are calling is because people are very confused about the amount that they have to pay. There has been a lot of inconsistent information. Um, a number of borrowers have reported to us that they have the wrong billing amount um, on their statement. Um, they uh, There have been a lot of loan transfers in the last couple of years. So about four in 10 borrowers have a new loan servicer. And so Folks don't necessarily know where to go. And a lot of the information from the old loan servicer wasn't transferred over. And so these servicers don't necessarily have complete information. So the Biden administration is forgiving $9 billion in student loan debt for 125,000 borrowers. There are some specifics, though. Tell us more about this latest uh, series of cancellations. Yeah, so the, the latest cancellations that the administration announced just yesterday for the 125,000 uh, additional student loan borrowers is a continuation of previous executive actions that this administration has taken. Um, these were, in particular, the income during payment account adjustment and the public service loan forgiveness waiver. Um, these measures were taken largely um, in recognition that for a long time, the student loan system has not been working and has kept borrowers away away from the programs that would really benefit them the most. Um, this has largely been documented to be due to servicer misconduct and abuse and, and lack of government oversight, frankly. And so borrowers historically have not been getting the cancellation they were entitled to. And so this action is meant to right that wrong and provide cancellation for folks who have been in repayment for decades often um, without getting the credit that they needed. All right, Persis Yu, thank you very much. We appreciate the information. Thank you for having me.